Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Political Science class, session number two of the day. Okay, the morning session we discussed about almost all the aspects of rights and uh, the importance of rights and uh, responsibilities. Okay, and as uh, examination point of view, there are numerous MCQ questions are there. Okay, so uh, interesting people to write some questions today. Find out the answers for the next day. Okay, write down in a state. In a state, it is also the duty of the citizens. In a state, it is also the duty of the citizens to citizens to citizens to option A ensure sustainable development, ensure sustainable development. Repeating the question one more time. In a state, it is also the duty of the citizens to option A, ensure sustainable development. Option B, protect the atmosphere. Protect the atmosphere. P-R-O-T-E-C to protect the atmosphere. Option C, pollute air and water. Find out the answer for the next day. Okay. Sir, can you repeat the option D? Option D. Live in peace. Live in peace. So what is option A? Ensure sustainable development. Ensure sustainable development. Okay, so there is no class tomorrow for you. I mean, there is no political science class. Okay, adapted tomorrow classes there, so mind it. So find out the answers and tell me. Option two. A bill of rights is enshrined in the a bill of rights. A bill of rights, a bill of rights is enshrined. A bill of rights is enshrined. E N S H R I N E D. Enshrined in the dash. Enshrined in the dash. Options A. Preamble of the United Nations Organization. Preamble of the UN. Get it like this. Preamble of the UN. Option B, constitution of many countries, constitution of many countries, constitution of many countries. Option C, human rights of UNESCO, human rights of UNESCO, UNESCO, UNESCO. Option D, Government documents of few countries. Government document of few countries. Okay, government document of few countries. Repeating, a bill of rights is enshrined in the, first of all, preamble of UN, constitution of many countries, human rights of UNESCO, government document of few countries. Question number three, natural rights are those, natural rights are those, Natural rights are those which are given to us by, which are given to us by, given to us by option A, constitution, repeating the question, natural rights are those which are given to us by option A, constitution. Option B, Parliament. Option C, God or Nature. God or Nature. Option D, King. Option D, King. Okay. Fine. Next one. Option, uh, question number four. Human rights traditionally are divided into. Human rights traditionally are divided into. Human rights traditionally are divided into human rights traditionally are divided into divided into option A political and economic rights political and economic rights option B political and social rights 
political and social rights. Option C, civil and political rights. Civil and political rights. Civil and political rights. Option D, political and political and cultural rights. Political and cultural rights. Okay. Okay, next question. The political right, the political right is the right to, the political right is the right to dash. Okay, the political right is the right to dash. Options, shelter, shelter, option A, shelter. Option B, sustainable development. Option C, livelihood, livelihood, and option D, to form political parties, to form political parties. Okay, so these are five questions for today. Please find out the answers for the next class. Okay, now we have some students here, so we will go for the textbook. Okay, all of you please open your textbooks here. So almost all the things here we discussed. Okay, now where do the rights comes? We know that. Okay, next one. Kant on human dignity. Emmanuel Kant, a famous philosopher. Okay, so this is taken from one of the essay or a speech that made by uh, Emmanuel Kant. Okay, you can see that page number seventy. Page number seventy. Everything has either a price or a dignity. Clear or not? Whatever it is. Clear. In the world, whatever it is, have a price or a dignity. What has a price is such that something else can also be put in its place as its equivalent. By contrast, that which is elevated above all price and admits of no equivalent as a dignity. Clear? Understand? So price means we are able to create a equal for that one. Okay, clear or not? Example, price of apple may equal to price of two oranges. Clear? Like that. You can find equal things there. Understanding or not? But dignity is not like that. It is something more than that. Clear or not? What he mentioned here? Okay, here. That which is elevated above all price. It is more than that. And admits of no equivalent as a dignity. Okay, so whatever the thing that don't have an equivalent. It is something more than the price, okay, that time we can call it is termed as what? Huh? This dignity, dignity. Okay, human beings, unlike all other objects, possess dignity, clear? Human beings and character and personality of an individual, okay, they possess dignity, possess dignity. They are, for this reason, valuable in themselves. So each and every individual is valuable and uh, they basically possess this dignity. Okay, all the individuals. For the 18th century German philosopher, Immanuel Kant. Okay, Immanuel Kant is a 18th century German philosopher. German philosopher he is, or he was. This simple idea had a deep meaning, for it meant that every person has dignity and ought to be so treated by virtue of being a human being. So, each and every individual possesses that dignity. So, everyone seeks that respect from others. Clear? Clear or not? Okay, each and every individual want to lead a dignified life in the society, a secured life in the society. So, always we seek, always we are uh, basically try to get that treatment. What kind of treatment? The treatment with respect. Clear? To protect our dignity. Okay. Clear or not? Okay, a person may be under, sorry, uneducated, poor or powerless. He may even be dishonest or immoral, sorry, immoral, yet he remains a human being and deserves to be given some minimum dignity. Clear or not? Whoever I induce in, that's not a question. Okay, maybe that person is an uneducated one, maybe a poor one, maybe a powerless one. Okay, maybe a criminal. Okay, clear or whatever it is. But minimum dignity should be provided for that particular individual. Clear? Minimum dignity. Okay. For Manuel Kant, 
to treat people with dignity was to treat them morally a moral treatment this idea become a rallying point for those struggling against the social hierarchies and for human rights so immanuel kant's this idea basically giving a power to or a strength to the people those who are fighting for human rights okay in the world there are numerous people are there human rights activists okay human rights activists are there basically they are working for or they are doing something for to protect the human rights clear or not already we discussed this okay this idea became a rallying point for those struggling against the social hierarchies and for human rights kant's views represent what is called the moral conception of rights this position results sorry rush upon two arguments first we should be treating others as we would like to be treated ourselves okay so we have to treat others how like we want to treat others there okay what kind of treatment we are expecting from others okay we want to treat the people like that or treat others like that secondly we should make sure that we don't treat the other person as means to our ends okay so don't utilize an individual for our benefits okay or our de development okay we should not treat people as uh, we treat a pen a car or a house sorry a house we ought to respect people not because they are useful to us but because they are after all human beings okay so we should not treat an individual like an object clear or not because each and every individual each and every human being uh, deserves some respect deserves some dignity again okay, clear or not they have to protect their dignity so that is we should respect people not because they are useful to us but because they are after all human being so we are respecting each and every individual okay because they are human beings they are not an object okay we want to treat others okay how we would like to get the treatment from others the same way we have to treat others so please keep that idea in your mind so immanuel kant and his idea and uh, his idea on human rights human rights there so want to give uh, importance for each and every individual okay because everyone want this respect so each and every individual possesses the dignity okay so it is very important to protect it clear or not okay that's the idea of uh, immanuel kant and you can see here the second point second paragraph in the same page the notion of universal human rights has been used by oppressed people all over the world to challenge laws which segregate them and deny them equal opportunities and rights today uh, the human rights are basically or the rules and regulations that made by the government to protect the human rights are basically used by depreciative classes or backward classes basically they face the lots of problem from other groups of people in the society okay clear okay caste discrimination is an example for that okay so the oppressed people all over the world today using uh, the human rights okay and the rules and regulation that related with the human rights there so once they separated from the society and denied them uh, denied they denied to uh, lead a good life in the society okay there is no equal opportunities for them but today they are all basically using this human rights to enjoy these rights there okay i mean uh, this benefits there in fact it is through the struggles of groups that have felt excluded that the interpretation of existing rights have sometimes been altered slavery has no instance been abolished but there are other struggles that have only had a limited success even today there are communities struggling to define humanity in a way which includes them so we know that there are numerous rules and regulations are there laws are there okay to protect the people basically we know that slavery that was abolished there are numerous rules and regulations are there to protect the rights of the people today then also there's different groups of people are there facing lots of problem in different societies in different countries okay are economic inequalities yeah. ah economic inequalities are the things okay or it's a special phenomenon for almost all the democratic countries the economic inequalities are still existing okay so democratic countries we know that that countries are basically or that kind of governments are basically standing to solve the problem of economic disparities or giving opportunity for each and every individual to develop then also there are lots of problems are there in democratic countries there is a a gap i mean the gap between the rich and poor it is increasing not decreasing today but uh, it is increasing economic inequalities are there okay now the list of human rights which people have claimed 
has expanded over the years as societies face new threats and challenges. For instance, we are very conscious uh, today of the need of protect the natural environment and this has generated demands for rights to clean air, water, sustainable development, okay, and the like. A new awareness about the changes which many people, especially women, children, and the sick face in times of war or natural crisis has also led to demands for the right to livelihood. Today, the world it is changing, okay. So numerous threats we are facing today. It is not like the olden days, okay. New threats are there, every day new threats are there. Example, pollution, okay. so. Before a century, there is no concern. Okay, the people they don't do want to think about. Basically, they not thought about uh, uh, sorry uh, pollution, there, soil pollution, water pollution, air pollution, or something like that. Clear? Because they utilized or they used good air, good water. Okay, pollution for environment. But today it is not like that. Almost all the things are polluted: water polluted, air polluted, soil polluted. So it is important to create some rules and regulations to protect the environment. Clear? New rules and new regulations we want. And related with the wars, we know that the women, the children, the sick people, they are facing lots of problems related with the wars or internal conflicts in a country. So to protect these people, special rules and regulations are necessary. Okay, or to protect their rights. Such claims express a sense of moral outrage about infringements of people dignity and they also act as a rallying call to people to try and exchange or extend rights to all human beings. We should not understand the extent and power of such claims. They often invoke white support. You may have heard about the Bob Star, Bob Galdoff's recent appeal to the Western government to end poverty in Africa and seen TV reports about the scale of support which he received from ordinary people. So today, number of movements are there to protect people there, okay? Numerous activists are there, okay? Basically, TV stars, okay? Pop singers, dancers, okay? Such kind of people, today they are taking that kind of initiative to protect the people's rights there. So example, okay, you can see here, Bob Galdos. Okay, so he's a personal, sorry, a famous pop star. And he basically, pleaded the government to end poverty in Africa, okay, clear or not, and uh, that uh, particular singer or the pop star, he got much support from the public, okay, clear or not, basically all people want that, everyone wants to escape from the problem or the uh, problem or trouble called the poverty, okay, clear or not, is that clear? Okay, so all these things, please read it and understand there, you don't you can ask me again, no problem. Next one, the legal rights and the states. Legal rights, legal rights. Okay, so in the morning session, we discussed about the natural rights and human rights. Now, we're going to discuss about the legal rights and the state, the relationship between the legal rights and the states. There. While claims for human rights appeal to our moral self, the degree of success on such appeals depend upon number of factors. Most important of which is the support of the governments and the law. This is why so much importance is placed on the legal recognition of rights. Okay, so we know that there are numerous rights are there. Okay, clear or not? Okay, almost all the philosophers will say that by birth we are free. Okay, clear? But the institutions or governments that making us, okay, in chains there. Okay, clear or not? Or are forcing us to be uh, a person those who don't have any freedom or something like that. Okay, so legal protection to the rights are important. Legal protection. Okay, the state want to recognize, the government want to recognize these rights should be uh, enjoy or enjoyable uh, for the individuals there or for the people there. Okay, the people can enjoy these rights. So government want to decide like that or the uh, state want to decide like that. Then only we can enjoy it. So legally or legal support is necessary for the rights there. A Bill of Rights is enshrined in the constitution of many countries. Okay, so here it is important. Uh, we got a question also. A Bill of Rights is enshrined in the constitution of many countries. So, in almost all the countries' constitutions, a party is there termed as Bill of Rights. Okay, the constitution want to accept or constitution want to guarantee these rights to the people. Okay, such kind of rights we are able to see in a particular part of the constitution called the Bill of Rights. Okay. So constitution represent the highest law of the land and so constitutional recognition of certain rights gives them a primary importance. So constitution is considering as the primary law of the land 
so the rights that is enshrined or that is uh, basically the part of the constitution have more importance okay so everyone will accept it okay in our country we call them the fundamental rights other laws and policies are supposed to be respect the rights granted in the constitution the rights mentioned in the constitution would be those which are considered to be of basic importance so there are numerous other rights also are there okay related with our civil liberties we can enjoy that and the same time the fundamental rights that mentioned in the constitution want to give more importance in some cases these may be supplemented by claims which gain importance because of the particular history and the customs of the country in india for instance we have a provision to ban untouchability which draws attention to the traditional social practice uh, in the country there so uh, in india there is a provision in the constitution to ban or stop the practice of untouchability okay clear or not so that untouchability that create lots of problem in the society so the government uh, banned it okay so it is not suitable for a modern society untouchability or discrimination on the basis of caste color it is not suitable for a modern society so the government banned it okay so important is that legal and constitutional recognition of our claims that several theories defend the rights as claims that are recognized by the state okay so rights are claims that should be recognized by the state or the government or else it is not at all okay so we cannot enjoy that so government ban untouchability which means uh, legally that is banned or stop or wipe the way everyone want to accept it okay the state is not banned so we cannot say that untouchability is wiped away from our uh, society so state recognition is compulsory okay the legal endorsement certainly gives our rights a special status in the society but it is not the basis on which rights are claimed as we discussed earlier rights have steadily been expanded and uh, reinterpreted to sorry reinterpreted to include previously excluded groups and to reflect our contemporary understanding of what it means to lead a life of dignity and respect so number of new rules and regulations are created by the government to protect the what we can say Uh, the oppressed classes oppressed classes they also want to lead a dignified life in the society or a respectful life in the society okay so the government made a numerous rules and regulation and government recognizes that okay the government made it and it is there in the constitution so everyone want to accept it everyone want to uh, lead a life as per that however in most cases the claimed rights and directed towards the state that is uh, through these rights people make demands upon the state when i assert that my right to education i call upon the state to make provision for my basic education okay so society may also accept the importance of education and to contribute to it on its own different groups may open schools and fund sorry funds scholarships so that children of all classes can get the benefit of education but the primary responsibility rest upon the state it is the state that must initiate necessary steps to ensure that my rights of education is fulfilled so this is a fundamental right right to education okay cultural and educational rights clear or not it's a fundamental right so it is the responsibility of the state or the government to provide a primary education to the students there right okay at the same time the society also can participate in that they can also uh, provide funds they can also start schools there but then also we can say that it is the responsibility of the state to provide education for uh, everyone okay clear or not because that is mentioned in the constitution it's a fundamental rights education and cultural rights so it is the responsibility of the state government to provide that to the people or the kids there thus rights place an obligation upon the state to act in certain kinds of ways each rights indicates what the state must do as well as what it must not do for instance my rights to life obli obli sorry obliges that state to make laws that protect me from injury by others it calls upon the state to punish those who hurt me or harm me if a society feels that the right of life means a right to good quality of life it expects the state to pursue police policies that provide for clean environment along with other conditions that may be necessary for a healthy life in other words my right here places certain obligations upon the state to act in a certain way so it is the responsibility of the state for example right to life is there means it is the responsibility of the government or the state to protect the life of the individuals in the country there so the responsibility of the government to secure our life there right okay protecting us from uh, the attack of others okay clear or providing a clean environment to lead a good life in the society we need a clean environment clear or not or better living okay 
so it is a responsibility of the government because that mentioned in the constitution okay rights not only indicate what the state must do they also suggest what the state must uh, refrain from doing okay my right uh, to liberty as a person for instance suggests that the state cannot simply arrest me at its own will it is wishes to put me behind bars it must be defend that action so the right says of okay, what we are able to enjoy or the right says uh, what the government want to do at the same time okay the constitution number of provisions are there that says some things the state cannot do okay clear or not the constitution insisting the uh, government do something and the same time the government sorry the constitution insisting the government to not to do something there it must give reason for curtailing my liberty before a judicial court there so if the government want to arrest me they have to show the reasons okay without reason the government or the police department cannot arrest an individual this is why the police are required to produce an arrest warrant before taking me away my rights this place certain constraints upon the state actions there right so clear or not so before arresting an individual it is important to show the arrest warrant okay the reasons okay so simply state cannot cut uh, our rights there or uh, our freedom there okay clear to put it another way our rights ensure that the authority of the state is exercised within violating the sanctity of the individual life and liberty the state may be the sovereign authority the laws it makes may be enforced with force but the sovereign state exists not for its own sake but for the sake of the individual it is people who matter more than sorry more and it is the their well being that must be pursued by the government in power the rulers are accountable for their actions and must not forget that law exists to ensure the good of the people so no governments are able to use the power as their own clear or not okay they cannot interpret the uh, constitution okay as per their will and wish okay so the rules that basically made for the development of the individual each and every individual is the base of the uh, democratic governments there so it is the, the rules and regulations that made for the well being of the individuals so no government is able to misuse their powers clear is that clear or not so all these things we discussed and just read the textbook so some uh, what you can say some examples are there clear so hope uh, you people also want to read the textbook and understand the things there they are give a number of examples that are related with the rights there okay what, how can we enjoy the rights there and uh, related with the states i mean the government uh, uh, the government can enjoy some rights there right clear or not sometime at the same time there are numerous provisions are there in the constitution that says what a government can do and what they cannot do there basically okay so please read the text thoroughly and understand the things there okay next topic also we discussed already that is uh, kinds of rights kinds of uh, the rights there so there are different types of rights are there clear okay so most democracies today begin by drawing up a character sorry charter of political rights okay so already we studied about the three different types of rights there one is the political right other is the economic right and thirdly it is the cultural rights hope you know all these things properly right okay and today i give you uh, five questions by mcq questions to find out the answers sir. and the same time uh, you have to read this topic okay clear the kinds of rights kinds of rights already notes are there with you okay clear so there are numerous things are there related with the economic rights sir political rights and the cultural rights and the cultural rights and today basically we have to finish this chapter but we cannot do that we want one more class to discuss about this last uh, uh, point that is the rights and responsibilities in the notes you already wrote about uh, uh, the Im uh, importance of these rights and responsibilities there so please read that also okay and we will meet in the next class okay so the thing uh, you have to do you have to do is nothing but find out the answers for that five question answers i mean mcq questions only and the same thing read the textbook okay clear or not different types of rights and uh, rights and responsibilities rights and uh, responsibilities are the two topics for you people to read and understand that there are numerous examples are there and already i read about uh, read and discussed about immanuel kant's an idea of uh, human rights okay immanuel kant and uh, his idea of uh, human rights okay these things are important for the examination okay so thank you everyone we will meet in the next session mm -hmm.